What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're checking out a Bronze Age RTS called The Fertile Crescent, which you can get absolutely for free right now on itch.io. They're still fiddling with it, they're messing with bugs, they're fixing the game on up, but as of right now, you can just go grab this. I'll have a link for you at the end of the episode if you wanted to check it out. Let's go ahead and we will jump on into a mission. I'm not gonna do multiplayer, we'll do like, yeah, we'll go with, I don't know, sandbox, experience, beginner. I don't know what the right choice is. Let's go with experience to see if we can get wiped off the map like a bunch of noobs. So we've got a couple little guys down here. They walk around and do stuff. Yeah, go chop some trees, man. Go chop some trees, Bruta. What does that do, a settlement? All right, let's make a settlement, there we go. Ooh, yeah, we got a building. Can I send one of you guys to go work on it? Yeah, you guys should probably go work on this real fast. Just go get that taken care of ever so rapidly. What is this guy, a scout? Is he just like speedy compared to everybody else? The good news is we've got a sexy little corner that we live in, so I like that a lot. Down on the corner, down in the street. We got a dwelling. Your citizens need housing. All right. Well, then huh? let's get on top of that, shall we? What does it take? It takes us 40 stone and like five of the woods. Okay, well, we are now officially out of stone, so you guys bring that back to the stockpile. This dude over here, apparently I gotta use the arrow keys. Okay, let me reposition my hands real fast. Reposition these hands, and then we'll have a look around. Let's dive on into some of this fog zone over here. We got some marshland, we got some other little things. Maybe go grab some berries. Yeah, go grab some berries. That sounds good. Can I make more villagers? I can set my rally point. Oh, it just produces villagers. There's our little guy right there. Yeah. Okay, you. Go huh. gather whatever that is. It appears to be metal, which I guess is a good resource to have. Wow. It is, after all, a Bronze Age game, so without yeah. bronze, where would we be? Right. Yeah. Yeah, just keep grunting. Yeah. That's fine. Blah. Yeah. You know, you can make, I don't care what you say to me yeah. as long as you follow my order. Like, blah. Right. Like, you can say blah. You can say yes, sir. You can say whatever you want. My people yeah. are starving. Nay! Mm -hmm. You, go <gasps> gather berries. Go gather <gasps> berries until our lives are complete. <laughs> We will fix this food problem right this second. So apparently we have 12 food, and then that's the amount that they consume. Most units will consume a singular amount of food. Can I... Yeah, stop making people, would you? Like, I, I get that, like, breeding is fun, and we like to have more people involved with this situation, but I don't think we need more people right now. Seeing as we are actively starving right this second... Hmm? Maybe stop having people. Just like slow your roll on the old yeah. producing human beings thing. If we make like a farm or something that'll be more effective, huh. let's look. So if we can make a, we can do a resource camp where they can drop off wood and metals. We can do a clay pit. We've got a farm. I think a farm is a really good idea. This place looks pretty fertile and the game is called the Fertile Crescent. So maybe we'll put it on that green looking land right there. Oh, right. Where presumably there's some kind of substrate of water it's going to make our turnips grow. You know, hmm. movies would have you believe yeah. that, like, what makes the grass grow right. blood? Wrong. It's water. Yeah. It's water. I know. I don't know how yeah. they got that so wrong. But, hey, you know, everybody got questions. I got answers. Oh, now we're producing food. Now we're on that food life. Okay, let's get you over there. Yeah. Let's maybe get you, like, over here. And then we're going to get you over here. We're going to make ourselves like a house. I need some stone, huh. man. Where's a stone at? Or do we need like a clay pit for that? Oh, it's a clay pit. Okay, we need a clay pit. Where's a clay pit go? Oh, clay pit goes on the water spot. Ooh, I almost messed that up bad. Okay, so the clay pit kind of go over here. You can maybe I'll just kind of put the clay pit in on this side. There we go. Just dig at it with your weird little chisel tool that I assume wow. that you've made out of like a crow's beak yeah. and a stick. Go right. for it. I'm going to yeah. find the enemy. I'm going to find the enemy and we are going to yeah. liquidate them. I don't know what my motives are, hmm. but you know, like, I'm like Rick's people, and these people out here are like the saviors. We're yeah. gonna go find them. We're right. gonna find, we're gonna bring the fight to them. Yeah. All right, continue going this yeah. way. I don't really care if you die, just uncover space. Yes, uncover further space and resume producing humans. Yes, huh. more humans. Yeah. Huh? huh? We'll give everybody a job. He's bringing back metals. We got this guy working all the live long day, singing a jaunty tune inside the clay plays. I'll put that over there so that I keep things a little bit more organized. Mm -hmm. You, sir, I would love for you to give me another clay pit right here. I don't know how many clay pits we're going to need, but I assume we're going to need several because I don't think we're making bricks that rapidly. Uh, we can make a dwelling pretty soon. We can make a resource camp pretty soon. We can make a barracks pretty soon to make soldiers. Probably a good idea to get some amount. Uh-oh. We found their city, and they appear to be doing a much better job of building than we are. Huh. 
the AI is over here just like showing out right now. I've got a feeling we're gonna get hit in like eight seconds. You ever play like an RTS you've never played before? And you put it on like normal difficulty, and then eight minutes into the game you're getting stormed into by like thousands of guys, and you're like, well, maybe I'll dial this back ever so slightly. He has a lot more buildings than I have. His buildings look sexier than mine too. We've mastered squares. He has mastered the L block and the solid I. His Tetris game is on point. Continue chopping down trees, please. I want all this space cleared out. We're gonna build some walls. We're gonna make ourselves safe. I need to get I need to get access over to here too so that I can make more clay pits. Can I fit one in there? I don't know if I can fit one in there. I can fit like one, but I feel like if we wait for the space to clear, I can fit in more. I'll put one in right now. Maybe it needs all four squares to be covered in order for that to work. But we definitely need more bricks. Our brick supply is not coming in at like a sexy rate. It's coming in at a very, very bad rate, in my opinion. Like, I need to get up to, like, a barracks. A granary would be nice. I don't think we need the grant. Oh, they're hitting me with rocks right now. Hmm? Huh. You guys should go murder him real fast. Oh, there's so many of them. Yeah, just go throw stuff at him. Yeah, take that. How you like me now? Pelting you with rocks. Huh. Go kill his workers, too. Hmm. Yeah, teach his workers. So yeah, don't gather my trees. Those are my trees. This is my dominion. I claim those trees. Those trees are, like, my thing, dude. Hmm? Oh, it just goes to show when you throw rocks at people, they throw rocks back. Lame, dude. Stop throwing rocks at me. This is impolite. This is impolite and unnecessary. Bring everybody down here. And as soon as we get another villager rocking, we've held off their first assault, though. We are officially the champions yeah. of the universe. I want a... Where's my... Yeah, give me, give me a barracks over here. I need, like, a barracks. We're going to train some guys up real quick. Get ourselves like a standing huh. army so that I'm no longer terrified for my safety. I don't know what resources it's going to take in order to get like soldiers, but hopefully we've stacked up a decent supply of metal during this entire exchange. I get the feeling I should be expanding my territory more rapidly and grabbing stuff that the enemy hasn't. Oh my god, they have spearmen. Okay, we're getting wiped out right. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're so aggressive. So aggressive and mean to me. Everybody group up. Everybody group up and throw stones. Mm -hmm. Everybody group up and throw some rocks. There you go. I'm proud of all of you. Now go build that building right there so I can design people who will protect you from just this. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Throw rocks at him. Teach him. A oh, look at you getting rocked out right now. Rocking out. All right, build that. Build that. Build that so fast. Yeah, I want to see that progress meter move. I want to see that thing bang. We got to recover. All right, you guys go out here. You're my militia. I believe in all of you. We need light spearmen. Okay, light spearmen go. Get them back on the farm plots. Yep, get them producing food. I know my people are starving. We had a momentary issue that concerned lots of bad guys being all up in my face right now. I wonder how many people I can have work in the mud pits. Oh, you don't even need multiple mud pits. You can just have like one guy working in said mud pit. Can I have multiple people working on a farm? No. You cannot have multiple people working on a farm. That is not an option. Yeah. Okay, you guys go back to doing what you do. Oof, our food supply is like kind of terrible right now. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. It's going to take us a minute to fix this, but the lone spearman, he will protect our society. You are the god of this domicile. Stand strong with your pointy stick and hopefully be way better at fighting with a pointy stick than everybody else is. I'm going to slow down kind of people production for right now. I think we have enough. They're all a little bit wounded and busted up, but it's going to have to work out. Dude, how long do these farms take? These farms are taking a hot minute right now. Oh, my God. They have so many spearmen. Oh, my God. I believe mm -hmm. this might be the end for us. All right. So, listen. I re-rolled it. Because the enemy was being very impolite. This is a no-rush 20-minute game, and wow. apparently they didn't get the memo. Mm -hmm. yeah, I said right. no yeah. rushing 20 minutes, wow. and they did it anyways. Can you believe how brazen that is? Can you believe the brazenness of our enemies? That situation that I described to you about the first time you play an RTS right. and you get rolled out on? Yeah. That was pretty much what just happened. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys, I would like for you to just kind of, yeah, there you go. Oh, you can use the marshes for farms, too. 
Okay. Huh? All right. Huh? Yeah, huh? maybe just get on out huh? here. Huh? Yeah. Gather huh? a little bit. Huh? Stay a while. A lumberjack. There you go. Just lumberjack for me, bro. Lumberjack. Wow. There's like a desert over here. Hmm. Okay, let's go down to that corner now and see what we find. This time around, I'm prepared. I know what I'm doing. And the mechanics are simple. I didn't expect to get yeah. obliterated in the first nine seconds of my playthrough. It wasn't my intent. But these things happen sometimes. Everyone should expect setbacks every now and again. It's not the end of the world. It was the end of that Mesopotamian society's world. But it's not the end of my world. Okay. Uh, we have a tap. They already have that built? It's been like a ninth of a second. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We all gonna die. We all go die. They're so much better at this than I am. Where did they even get the resources for all that? They could not have physically gathered that much in the amount of time we've been on the map. My stockpiles are so broken and weak, and theirs are so strong and virile. This kind of hurts my feelings a little bit. Yeah, let's maybe consider putting in a watchtower down here, and then I will garrison it. To make sure that if they come, at least we've got a stopgap in between us and them. It looks like they don't hesitate to build defenses, so like, why should I? I should definitely build some defenses. So let's get one up and running. You guys continue to pull as much wood out of the forest as you possibly can. We need it for the structure of these little mud houses that we're building. There's a lack of housing. Yeah. Hmm. Kind of disappointed with myself right now. I'm going to use the bad land over here for making people live on top of it. Like, this land sucks. Hmm? Therefore, in hmm. my opinion, it seems like a really good idea to work on our real estate situation. All right, so now we got two guys out here just mud farming all the live long day. That's a watchtower. It's got nobody inside of it right now. I would prefer to have somebody inside of it at some point. How many people can work here at this clay pit? I'm curious how many people I can throw at this clay pit problem. I think we're going to need more farms too, but we should probably wait for all the trees to be cleared. If I can get like one more delivery of bricks... We're going to be solid. So we've got four guys working on that right now. I wonder. Part of me just wants to see how many people I can stack on that one tile. But then again, part of me thinks that might be a bad idea too. I don't know what our pop cap is right now. It's probably not good. I would like another farm. If you could start lining up something to maybe grow some more food. Because to me... It seems like we're running out of food right now. Yeah. Another little dude right here. We'll put in another house right there so we can start growing our garrison. And then the next little guy that comes out of there, we're going to put him on this side over here. And we're going to give him another farm. Yeah, you guys come down here so that I can garrison you if need be. I want you to protect me. Protect our people. Huh. All right, so we got this over here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, maybe help him out with the farm, possibly. Just maybe a little bit of assistive farming over here. Yeah. Can't fit another one till we knock down some more trees. So something tells me this is probably a really good time for us to set up some soldiers. He's a soldier. Do, 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 do. There we go. Put the put the yeah military base in over there. You mm -hmm. huh. go garrison huh. this thing for a little bit. How about that? How's that sound? So we've got one guy chilling on top of our watchtower. We know where the enemy's at. We know where they're coming from. So now we just need to wait. We need to bide our time, and we need to become strong. All right? One day I will put real soldiers inside of this. Archers. Slingers, people of that nature. Did the pit get deeper the more that they dug on it? That's pretty sweet if that's how that worked. That's kind of dope. I actually kind of like that, how like the longer they work there, the bigger the hole gets. I think the hole got bigger. Let's check. Hmm? Did the hole get bigger? The hole did get bigger. That's crazy. I love that. That's super rad, and I'm happy about it. Hmm? All right, you guys come down here. We got this unfortunate habit of starting out in a forest. How long do you figure? Um, huh. 
And we're almost negative on food again. You know, let's slow down on people production real fast. It looks like all my baskets just came in. And it wasn't super enough to fix all of the problems that we have. But it was close. As soon as these guys get done with these forests down here, I'm going to put them on food gathering. So we can start pooping out some warriors. Yeah, you guys just kind of come over here to the central square. This time they're not pushing me quite as hard. And I respect that. I respect that and I appreciate that. The AI giving me a fighting chance even though it's robot brain is better than me. Yeah, go gather from some berry bushes, I guess. I thought that these farms would be much more effective. They have not been that effective. Like, we're starting to make progress towards, like, knocking out a decent amount of food. Like, we're recovering, but I don't know if we're recovering enough. Yeah, you guys continue to just wipe this out down here. And then as we wipe that out... Can start putting in more farms down here because we don't have to rely on that hunter gatherer nonsense anymore once we get it done All right, put you right there maybe put you right there oof the farms are looking good okay so the clay pit is full we don't have anything for the clay pit anymore then again we have a whole lot of stones so maybe i'll put these guys to work doing something else so if we have a granary can i fit that like Maybe shorten their trip ever so slightly back to the home front. Eh, it'll shorten the trip for some people. Not for everybody, but for some people. Like this farm and this farm and this farm, maybe. And then the rest of them are just going to go back to the central repository, I would think. Alright, so that's good. Yeah, you guys feel free to gather berries if you want. We've got an axe man, a heavy spear man, and a swordsman. All right, we've got some extra food. Let's maybe bang out a couple of soldiers. Might be a bad idea, but I think we can do it. We got room for two more people. Do each of these guys like considerably increase the amount of nonsense that I'm going to be eating on a daily basis? I'm gonna wait for this guy to come out. It does, so each one costs us one more food per day. So this yeah. is definitely creating, like, a larger food issue, all things considered. But we need to send yeah. these guys out. We need them to find us right. some kind of ore or some kind of metal. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to move yeah. up the tech tree, and we're going to struggle a little bit. Wow. You can come over here and Rendez Voos with them right. if you want. Rendez Voos it out, my buddies. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That was like a little hip-hop noise he gave us right, right there. Yeah. You know, oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay, so we need something to come out here. Otherwise, hmm. life's going to be bad. Hmm. So you guys come out this way. Give me a resource camp. We will protect you with the spearmen to the best of our ability. But if the enemy comes knocking hard, I can't guarantee this is going to work out okay. We've got like a nice little, we've got a nice little stockpile going, but yeah. we still need a little bit more time to get it all set up and done. Yeah, throw aside your berries. Concern thyself not with the berries of the field, and instead, work the stones of the land. Alright. Good. I think they're gonna deplete this little pile pretty quickly. Like, that gave us metal, like, really quickly. So if they can just knock this out in, like, 10, 15 minutes, you know? That'd be good. Just get both of these, give ourselves a big stockpile for the war to come. Yeah. Because we are going to be doing some invading. Some light stabbing yeah. and thrusting and fainting. Right. I may go grab this stuff over here too. Make like a little hidden resource right. camp on that side. Yeah. That way I don't have to babysit it quite yeah. as much because it's hidden. Like I'm sure one of their scouts will eventually find it. But we've got food for right now. Yeah, turn villager production back on. If only for a second. I just need like one or two more guys. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they've almost completely and totally gone through that. What can I make out of that? So, research organized warfare. Oh, we've got research buildings. Okay. What kind of research building? Oh, we got a battle down here? Yeah, go fight that guy. He's trying to roll out on our metal workers. Yeah, go kill that dude. Stab him in his face. Mm hmm. Go stab him too. Slinger's over here doing work. If nothing else, it fixes our food problems. So, they're now dead. We've killed those two off. Right. Let's just hang back for a minute and make sure that we get all these resources before we do anything else too crazy. 
I will halt that for a minute because I want to see what's going to happen with our food. And then we've got an archery range. I do like the idea of an archery range. Go do an archery range for me. Yeah, you guys get up there and archery range it up. If you get like four or five ranged units to go yeah. along with these guys, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. I got a feeling that the victory on this map is going to be almost entirely decided by who manages to snatch and grab the most metal off the map. That's what I'm thinking. We got 30% villager training speed. Damn. Okay. We're still positive on food, so let's keep pumping out villagers. Huh? What else have I not built yet? We've got a furnace, weapons and protection for your army, archery range, watchtower. How do I research? Do I just like click on them? Well, I can raise the building if I want. Okay. Hmm? I guess we'll build some more houses. That's okay. Use like another ah. little residential block back here. Just to keep the baby making thumping along. Got a lack of housing for right now, but we're still good on food, so I think we'll be okay. You guys just finish harvesting down here and get it done. Yeah, there's only 91 left, and you guys bring back batches of 10, so like, eh. No biggie. Huh? Uh, I would say to expand the boundaries of our kingdom as well. With the archers, we'll put them down there, and we can get some slangers. I don't know if we're winning down here. It certainly doesn't feel as though I'm winning. It feels as though I am definitely losing. Here, you guys throw rocks at him until he goes away. I believe in the rock throwing. And then we'll get like another batch of spearmen over here too. But they're now unprotected. But we did manage to scoop up all this iron resource. Oh, they're still throwing stuff at me. Where's Oh, he's got range. I didn't expect that. That guy can chuck rocks super far. There you go. Finish him off. Once we've got an army assembled, I'm going to push on him a little bit and give him a little bit of pressure. I don't care if all these guys die. It's not something I'm concerned with. Yeah, it's not something I'm super concerned with if all those guys go down. I don't really mind it that much. As far as research goes, I don't actually know how we do research here. We've got that resource camp right there. Yeah, you guys keep bringing stuff back. We've got a watchtower on this side that we can put in. Oh, the furnace. I bet that's it. I bet the furnace is actually what we're looking for here. Did you guys almost get that done? God, I hope you do, because I'm going to pull you back to camp. Just one or two more soldiers. Then we'll be able to put this thing to rest. Uh, now that you guys are done, mm -hmm. I want all of you to come back over here, and I want you to be farmers. Farm for me, my mm -hmm. minions. Farm for me. Become strong in the farm foo. Mm -hmm. We will need much more food in order wow. to assemble our armies. I guess I can just huh. delete that building. Alright, let's push down here a little bit and see what we find. Yeah. You guys get the forge done? You guys got the forge done? Man. Well, I'm not seeing what I'm looking for there, but... Right. I thought maybe that would unlock Axemen, yeah. but I guess not. Maybe I just need the, the forge for it. I don't know. Oh, they got Axemen, they got Bowmen, they got all kinds of crazy stuff going on. All right, fall back, fall back, fall back. See if we can bait them into an attack. Yeah, just kind of skirmish with them for a minute. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Just occupy them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I think they're trying to get us. Ooh, completed production of the copper axe. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so we got little dudes over here. They're producing all the stuff that we need to produce for right now. I gotta see how this works with our food production. I do think they're a little tougher than we are. We still can't make an axe man. How do I make an axe man? I want to make an axe man. Hmm. How do I make the axe man? Like, I wish to make the axe man cometh. Apparently, we generate four knowledge. 
Mm -hmm. So where is our knowledge stored at? We've got knowledge right there. So we've got the more knowledge generation increases research speed. This value, oh, we click on this right here. Gotcha. That took me entirely too long to find. Let's go. Yeah, we're going to go with advanced military. I should have been running that the entire time. Oh, man. That was a mistake. Yeah, by all means, kill these dudes. Don't just stand there, though. Like, bait them back a little bit. There you go. Deplete his forces ever so slightly with my slangers. There we go. We killed another one. We'll pull back over to our tower. It doesn't seem like they're super interested in attacking me for right now. I probably should have been researching technology from the beginning of the game. I think there's a distinct possibility that I may have just, like, lost based on stupidity. Let's play catch-up the best we can, shall we? Uh, I may send some guys over to there. Like, since we're already guarding this spot, maybe you two, like, go over here and make, like, a resource camp. Oh, I need... Wait, what? Oh, I don't have enough stones. That's right. I haven't been using my mud camp at all. Yikes. Okay, you guys make a mud camp then. There you go. Mud camp. Mud camp! Everybody loves a mud camp. There we go. Nope, I want you I want you to be a mud farmer. I don't want you to be a tree a tree smith. Stop that. Yeah. Alright, so we've got all that done. I, I can probably take you guys down to here. Hey, nice. We can now use head protection. Head protection's important. You don't want to underdo it with your head protection, okay? <laughs> We've also completed the research of organized warfare. You guys come down this way, and then as soon as we have enough bricks, we'll make a resource camp right here and start stocking back up on metal for the future war, which I think is going to be kind of nitty-gritty. He looks idle. Why are you idle? Yeah, you look very idle to me. You don't look like you're doing anything, and I need you to do something. Let's see. We can go with bows. We can go with advanced mining. We can go with wood cutting. Can I be like a better mud farmer? All right, we'll get that done first. We'll make it so that we generate knowledge a little faster. Probably should have done that already, but huh? such is life. We all make mistakes, all right? My job is not to be good at games. My job is to show you awesome games. It's what you always have to remember here at the channel. My, I just do first impressions. Sometimes I'm going to miss things. Sometimes I can be a big old forehead when it comes to playing these games. And I think that neglecting all of my research was probably a forehead move. It's probably going to cost me in the long term. Maybe give me another farm over there. These guys are over here just mud farming their hearts away. That's good. That's good. Now I can make Axemans and Heavy Spears' mans. That's pretty sweet. Yes, make for me the Axemans. They can be the front. The tip of my spear, as it were. The edge of my axe, if you wanted to be even more thematically relevant. I think if we get like nine or ten more guys and we just bum rush them, maybe whittle some off the edges, play a little aggressively. Oh, we're out of housing. Weak sauce, doodly. Weak sauce. The sauce is weak. I keep things organized. Some people don't do that when they play games like this. They put stuff all over the place. Have you ever watched like a pro level Age of Empires player play the game? It's crazy, right? There we go. We'll start putting armor on people and stuff too. And then we've got this over here for like shields. Maybe I should upgrade spears. Yeah, let's upgrade the spears. We'll get that all done yeah. in like a nice little chain of events. Put their house back there. I love the graphics in this game, though. I think it looks really, really good. I hope they decide to take this from an itch.io project and turn it into, like, a real thing, because this is pretty fun. I like this. That guy's throwing javelins at me. What a jerk. Yeah, don't spread your damage around. Make sure you're all focusing on the same guy. They've got superior forces. So, like, us fighting with focused fire is going to be the best way to get this done. We don't even have archers yet. So I think the focused arrowheads are not going to be a great idea. But we do have these little guys down here who are looking pretty good. But yeah. But yeah, this is the Fertile Crescent. I hope you guys are liking it. Hope you're enjoying it. I think the game is pretty sweet, and I'm excited about this. I hope they decide to take it all the way, because I think people are going to like this. Especially if they do like a defensive mode where you just get attacked by waves off the edge of the map yeah. over and over again. Yeah. And you just got to keep building up like more unit yeah, variety, right. more stuff to build. Yeah. I'd be down for it. I'm going to send these guys into a fatal charge right now because I can. 
Yeah, fatal charge. Yeah. Last great victory. Let us teach our enemies to fear us. Fear me, my enemies. If you want to get the game, it's totally free right now. You can go download it on itch.io. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, I will assemble that link for you hmm. so that you yeah. can do that. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile right. in the world of indie gaming every single day so you don't have to. Yeah. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow with something fresh yeah. hmm. to death. And other than that, how you doing? Take care, everybody.